now then. Uh, I thought I'd just show you a little bit of winter driving. I thought winter was behind us to tell you the truth. I uh, got a little bit wintry on the, when I set off at the beginning of, beginning of March I and mean, then it warmed up and got really nice even uh, up in the north uh, up towards Pennsylvania. Uh, there was no snow or anything and just as I was leaving it started uh, saying there was going to be a snow warning managed to drive all, all the way over to Kansas and then it started snowing this morning unfortunately look at it now it's a total whiteout pretty much uh, I thought I'd just quickly go over oh that's deep is that I don't want to stand in there but uh, yeah uh, clean my lights off my lights actually you couldn't even see the lights so the ice had built up so much it was almost like it was worse than the, 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 the license plate because uh, it's got like a little recess and that was basically uh, causing the uh, uh, snow and the ice to accumulate in there but you can see there how much ice is like built up look, look at that, it's solid it's like, you know, it's, it's like rock um, did have to do a tiny little adjustment actually on uh, one of the cars at the back uh, just to make sure uh, there was a little bit more room um, now that I'm in uh, Colorado well not, not Colorado, I'm in Kansas sorry um, the heights were just a little bit more so I lifted that end car up over there an inch because it was very close to uh, an aerial on the uh, Silverado anyway uh, I can't get a generator going it's uh, totally uh, just not responding I think it's wet it's got uh, a lot of uh, ice on it uh, it's been getting probably splashed up with ice and all sorts of stuff uh, for the last 900 miles uh, you can see how thick the ice is on this side. Um, it's actually worse on the other side, actually. Uh, I'll show you the other side. I've actually seen it worse than this. I've seen it so bad you can't even see the cars. I remember one time last, uh, I think last January, no, sorry, January 2021, and I was in uh, Oregon, and it's three foot of snow, total, total white out. You couldn't even see the roads. And then uh, the truck was so full of snow, everything. I must have been overweight just from the amount of snow build up on the truck. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not overweight now because when you think about it, all this ice, you know, it's water, it weighs quite a lot and it sticks to the truck and it builds up and it builds up and it adds weight. And, uh, you know, it could be a couple of thousand, you know, it could be a thousand pounds of, of water what's accumulated on the side of the truck, weight, weight down even more so. And then that'll basically uh, make me overweight. But you can see there, uh, it's very close. Yeah, we always quite close there. So I lifted it up a little bit just to, you know, give it a little bit more clearance. Uh, yeah, so I've probably got about another 500, 600 miles of this snow. I mean, I hopefully, I think it clears up in uh, Denver. I looked on the forecast, it didn't look like there was any snow over there, So, but it, it's extremely cold over there, so it's uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is probably in, in the minus 20 degrees Celsius, so uh, that'll be, that'll be uncharted, uncharted territory, that type of uh, uh, temperature. Of, um, I've been in my, um, five degrees Fahrenheit. Five degrees Fahrenheit is extremely cold, it's like minus 17, and, you know, things do a lot of weird stuff when it gets that cold. So I'm hoping uh, when I drive through there, it's not going to be night time. If it's going to be night time, I'm not going to turn my engine off. I'm going to leave it running all night. Um, just due to, you know, cold start in that type of temperatures. It's really bad on the truck. So, yeah, uh, it's crazy, you know, just how thick this ice is. The build up, look at that. That's where the steel starts. It's like... It's like two inches solid, solid ice. It gets even thicker down there. Some of it has actually dropped off a little bit. It's melted away a little bit because obviously the cab's warm. And as I'm not driving, it's not, you know, building up ice and uh, has been dripping for a little bit as well. But yeah, it's crazy. Look at all this. It's mental. That last time I saw that happen was when I was in, uh, drove my camper van to uh, Norway. And it built up and built up on the side of the van. Look at this car, look. Solid ice, look at that. Crazy about isn't it? That's because of the side of the road. There's more ice on this side because obviously I'm over on the side of the road a little bit and it splashes up. Sludge and the water and everything all splashing up because it's all like this on the road. It's horrible sludgy stuff but it freezes on the side of the truck and then it builds up. Well, out of all these rams, I'll have to push, chip some of this stuff away. I don't know. I'll probably lift the platforms up first just to break that ice there and then just 
chip away like it. I'm hoping it's going to defrost on the way to Grand Grand um, Junction, Colorado. Uh, did look at the temperatures. It did warm up exactly in that Grand uh, Grand Junction area. It did warm up a little bit. Uh, so I think it's probably in the 40s there. So hopefully, by the time I drive over there, it'll melt down a little bit. I hate these things. They're a nightmare. It's got wide wheels on it as well. It's not even stock. It's got wide wheels on it. I'd only just fit it on. It's just how tight it is, look. You can see there, look. See how tight it is there. It's literally touching that hose. It's it's literally like a centimetre, less than a centimetre away from that, that, from that ram. It's like that on the opposite side as well. They didn't tell me that when I picked it up. They didn't tell me that it had modified tyres on it. This one's stock, so I can get these ones on comfortably. I'm still not happy about the fucking size of these, though. They're a long wheelbase version and they're a bastard to get on. Uh, that's why I could only do eight vehicles, because these weigh so much. Probably about seven or eight thousand pound vehicles. You know, it's almost like double the weight of a car. And they're literally like the length of a car and a half. And it's also got a 6.6 6 litre engine in it as well, so it's just a big heavy engine, huge transmission. Just takes up way too much fucking room, but it was a good load. It was an eight and a half, uh, eight thousand eight hundred load. So you know, I thought fuck it, might as well do it, and um, it'll get me back west, and then hopefully I can head back south again and get out of this fucking weather. I'm gonna end up over to Walmart, get some supplies, and then uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll be back uh, back uh, west coast in the next couple of days. I've got another. Another day and a half of driving through this shit. Still about 600 miles away from Grand, Grand Junction, which is 200 miles west of uh, Denver, Colorado. So, uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Bye.